Close calls like this happen with whales more often than you might expect. And although the people in these videos got away relatively unhurt, there's no denying that they were just meters away from being a whale's meal. The Big Blue Whale If you've never seen a whale up close, it's hard to understand just how huge they can really be. To put it simply, the blue whale is the biggest animal on Earth. Its tongue alone weighs as much as an elephant, and it can fit anywhere between 400 and 500 people in its mouth. But we wouldn't have to worry about one of these creatures eating us anytime soon because their bodies make it almost impossible. Instead, we should be more concerned with their smaller cousins, sperm whales. In 1891, reports came out that a man had been swallowed by one of these whales, and although he lived to tell the story, he would never be the same again. According to the story, James Bartley was swallowed when a whale attacked his ship, and he wasn't found until the next day. When the crew found and killed the whale, they quickly brought it on board their ship and cut it open, revealing an unconscious but alive James Bartley. His face and arms were bleached white, and he was blind, all because of the stomach juices of the whale. However, over time, people started to question whether James had really been swallowed by a whale. I mean, wouldn't the stomach juices do more damage than just bleaching his skin? Well, with science, we took a closer look, and we quickly discovered that if you get swallowed by a whale, coming back out with shiny white skin would be the least of your worries. Okay, so the first thing you'd have to worry about once you were swallowed would be getting torn to pieces by the sperm whale's big teeth. Each tooth is about 20 centimeters long, that's about the length of an average kitchen knife, and whales have between 40 and 50 of these. Let's say you're lucky enough to make it past all of them, Next, you'd begin your journey down the throat. Not only would it be dark and slimy down there, but you'd also find it hard to breathe because there's not much air and lots of methane gas. As the whale's throat muscles squeezed in and out to help push you down, you'd also start to feel acid beginning to eat away at your skin. I know what you're thinking. We just got into this whale, and James Bartley's story already seems pretty strange. Well, you're not wrong. But what would be the fun in stopping now? So, next you'd be dropped into the first and biggest of the whale's four stomachs. You'd probably be in there for a while, but the good news is you might have some light thanks to a glowing squid or two being eaten after you. Sperm whales love those glowing squids. You'd better enjoy this short light show because after this, you'd just be thrown from one stomach to the next with the acids breaking down almost all of your body until you're just a pile of bones being thrown out from the whale's backside. So yeah, it's pretty safe to say that there's no way you could be swallowed whole by a whale and live to tell the story. Sorry, James. You may have been able to fool people in the 1800s, but we're onto you now. As big as they are and as strange as they might seem to us, Whales actually have no interest in eating humans. And if they could talk, they would probably tell us that. In conclusion, while tales of being swallowed by whales may capture our imagination, a closer examination reveals the implausibility of such events. Stories like that of James Bartley, while intriguing, often contain elements that stretch the bounds of believability. Scientific scrutiny sheds light on the true nature of whale anatomy and behavior reassuring us that being consumed by these majestic creatures is highly improbable. Nonetheless, these narratives serve as reminders of the inspiring power of nature and the importance of respecting the boundaries between humans and wildlife. As we continue to explore and appreciate the wonders of the natural world, let us do so with a sense of wonder and reverence, mindful of the extraordinary lives and habitats that surround us.